Hey, we are here at my usual flying spot, and we're here to look at batteries. Now, I've gotten by for the last year really well on the Gen's 800 milliamp three cells for my Raijus, but with my newest 1407 build, I'm having a lot of problems with sag, and I'm only getting to about half capacity on the packs before they're drained. Uh, they're sagging below like 3.3, and, and uh, it's no good to keep going on anymore. So I've got a couple of different packs to look at, and. Uh, throw on the sort of flying that I normally do. Uh, it's not a lot of high uh, throttle punches, um, so I figured this would be a good test to see if I can find something with a little more staying power that's not too much heavier. For the sake of the test, uh, I've got a little route planned out and I'm just going to run the same route over and over again. I've set up my timing system and some gates, uh, not to be setting any uh, fast laps or anything like that, but just to check for consistency. We're looking at the Gens 800, Tattoo 1050, MyLipo 900, and the Reva Electrix 1200 435. The Gens have had about a year and it has many cycles on it. The Tattoo only has about a dozen cycles. The MyLipo and the Revo were both brand new. Also of note, for this test the Revo was only charged to 4.3 volts per cell. I'll be flying on my 1407 Raiju. Akon BLHeli SCSCs, and Dow Triblades. It's not the most powerful prop, but it does have the highest amp draw, which is what we're most interested in. The test course is fairly flowing, but still has some quick direction changes to spin the motors up. I flew this course until the battery telemetry either reported about 3.45 volts a cell, or until they started sagging below 3.2 volts a cell. The early lap times that you'll see in the corners are bolded, and that's the section before the battery begins to sag. As soon as battery telemetry starts going off, I stop bolting the lap time so you can see approximately when the sag really starts to kick in.
so there you have it, the gens and the MyLampo packs performing almost identically, only getting about half the capacity out of the battery before the uh, sag was too too much to continue. Both of these packs weigh about 71 grams, so they're really quite equivalent. The tattoo pack actually did fairly well getting up to 70% of its capacity out, and it was able to delay the sag compared to the slightly smaller packs for just a little bit longer, but we still had to deal with it for about half the flight. Big difference being that the sag was a lot more manageable with this larger capacity pack. It never dropped down to the kind of 3.2 range that the smaller ones did. It held more around 3.45. But even compared to that, the Revo is just a monster. Despite not being fully charged, it still just refused to sag for significantly longer than any of the other packs, and we got a very large amount of capacity out of the battery. Despite the large capacity rating compared to the Tattoo, it actually weighs almost identical. Both of the, uh, the Tattoo and the Revo batteries are about 91 grams. So this battery, the Revo Electrics High Voltage, is very clearly the winner here. 